many times have you got through the winter and sat back in your home to see the sun shining through your old curtains and thought it's time for a bit of a refresh? Well, maybe it's time to make a few small quality changes and really bring a facelift to your room. Well, if you thought the lack of creativity or the fact that it's a major upheaval is stopping you, well, over the next few minutes, I'll show you a few hints and give you some tips on how to breathe new life into a tired old room like this bedroom and really make it sparkle and bring some comfort to it. As a designer, I will always use a mood board as a place to start my ideas and really I encourage everybody to do the same at home. It's not difficult, it's really kind of flicking through your favourite magazines and tearing out sheets from there or collecting paint samples or fabric samples, maybe even wallpaper samples and just sticking them down really. I use a lot of kind of natural inspiration in my work. Things like, you know, a visit to the florist shop, look at these beautiful colours and this is going to inspire the bedroom next door. I mean, I really want to use lots of natural fabrics in the bedroom, um, really because the bedroom is a luxurious space and you spend a long time there. It's got to be a fabulous, sumptuous space to be in. We need to start decorating and I'm going to start with the walls. I've got this fabulous wallpaper. It's a great place to start. And now it's time to decorate. I've pushed all the furniture away from the walls and just covered it with a dust sheet because we're only decorating this wall. I've chosen to use just one feature wall because it's quite a heavy patterned uh, wallpaper and too much of that sometimes can be a little bit overbearing. Let me hand you this, Eric, so you can get cracking and I'm going to get all the finishing touches together. I love this focal wallpaper, it really makes a good impact. But you can see why it's only on one wall. This small flower could really be a little bit crazy if it was wrapped all around all four walls. Um, I love also this lovely charcoal poppy and I've married that colour with some full length curtains here in the bedroom which really starts to bring the whole scheme together. And then we need to focus on the bed. The bed is the focal point in any bedroom and we need to think about luxury and style and elegance. And that's why I've chosen to use beautiful bed linen. This is US cotton. It's really synonymous with uh, luxury, comfort and softness. In fact, when you're shopping, you need to look for the Cotton USA trademark. That's a mark that can only be used on products that feature US cotton. And then you know that you're getting quality and softness. So start to think about decorating your bed like a five-star luxury hotel and style it very elegantly. Now the bed's made, my wallpaper's up, I need to think about the accessories. Then it's all about creating a personable space. So it's all the things that you love. You know, this is your bedroom space. So there's candles, there's little hearts. I love fresh flowers in a bedroom and I've got candlelight for a little twinkling light, maybe a votive and actually a little picture frame. These black shapes are much more modern these days. And I've got some little metal birds, you know, just to hang from some drawer pulls. I've decorated this bedside cabinet. It was a white one originally, and I've just used some offcuts of wallpaper with some glue in a very patchwork style. So this really brings it all together. And to complete the look and extend that feeling of luxury, I've added some US cotton towels and charcoal and silver greys. Lovely and soft here. And don't forget, you can add some bathrobes as well, these lovely aubergine shades. It's all about luxury here. This is the last thing we feel at night and the first thing we feel in the morning. So it's got to be really important.
I bet you'll be surprised to find out how easy it is to be inspired, especially if you take time to create a mood board beforehand. You see, I think there's a little bit of designer flair in most of us, so why don't you have a go at overhauling your home this year? You won't regret it. Thank you.